It's dime time. Yeah, guys, it's Rob with Rob Finds Treasure, and I'm pretty excited. So, you guys have been asking for a dime hunt, and I've been uh, doing them, but unfortunately, every time I record one of these, I get skunked. So, I'm recording two of them this time. I did a box yesterday and got skunked on it, so I returned it today. I went ahead and decided to go to five different Chase banks today, $100 a bank, Grab 20 rolls of dimes in every bank. This is what I got. I Basically, I put them all into boxes just to see what I have here. I've got a full box of machine wrap now. I've got pretty much two thirds of a box of machine wrapped and we ended up with uh, 17 customer wrapped. So not too shabby, not too shabby at all. 17 customer wrapped, 33 machined and 50 machined. You know what we're looking for? We're looking for those silver dimes. We're looking for that 82 with no mint mark. We're looking for that 96 West Point. We'll take any proofs we can find, any crazy struck ones, some foreigns, you name it. All right, let's get to cracking into the customer ones first and kick this hunt off. All right, everyone, we're on roll number 15. Just cracked it open, stuck it in my hand. We've got an 09 to start so far, but check this out right there gotta be a silver dime and it is looks like it's a 62 beautiful and it's in the customer wrap which is a good start and it's a 62 D we'll take it silver in the box now I gotta hunt through this mess all right, guys, first box of dimes is finished. We did get that uh, 62 silver out of the customer wrap rolls, but still 62 Denver. We got three 2009 Ds and two 2009 Ps, so a good 2009 box. And then check this out. Pretty nice 1970 D. So on the 70 Ds, you want to check for double die reverse. And it's a little toasted, but it has all the markings of the double die reverse. I thought it might just be machine doubling. Look at that flame. But as I took a closer look at all the indicators, you can see it on the S, the E, the T, the A, the T, that S. Even in America down below on the M, the E, the R. When I look at it, even on Unum, right there on the U and the M and on Dime. So like I said, I thought it might just be machine doubling, but when I looked at the uh, two most valuable varieties, the DDR1 and the DDR2, it looks like the DDR1 mostly. A few things different. It has a little bit of the DDR2 in it, but there's other several varieties that it could also be. But I think for sure, based on what I see listed in the uh, known varieties and errors for 1970D, this is definitely a DDR. Uh, just depends on whether it's the one, two, or one of the other high uh, sought after ones, three or four. So I pulled it out. Pays to look, especially on the 70s dimes. There was a lot of double die reverses. And in the late 60s, there were some double die obverses. Didn't find any of that. Didn't find the 82, no mint mark, things like that. But that's a pretty good box. Again, that was customer wrapped. That was machine wrapped. Still some good finds. Now we got box two. So let's get after it. Well, we finished the second box of dimes, and um, let me tell you something. To go through 5,000 dimes properly, and I mean checking for reverse proofs, checking for uh, doubling on the fronts and backs of the 65 through 74 years, to check for silver, foreigns, proofs, you name it, it's tiring on the eyes. The good news is, the second box, it did produce at least one find. We got another 2009 P, so the two box total Gave us three 2009Ds, three 2009Ps, a pretty nice 1970D double die reverse. It's either one, two, three, or four in the uh, varieties book. Again, 
Still a nice example. It's hard to hard enough finding 70s coins with clean backs and fronts where you can see the type of doubling you need to see to make sure it is what it is. The find of the two box came in the customer wrap rolls, and uh, that's par for the course of dimes. You know, you, I've scored more silver in customer wrap rolls and coin stars than in machine boxes, but it was tough to find customer wrap rolls today, but I did get two boxes worth of dimes to go through, and the good news is I get to show you the hunt because we did find some finds. 62 Denver, silver, can't argue with that. Can't argue with the other finds as well. Wish we'd have found more, but it was still a fun hunt. Tiring, but a fun hunt for me. And I hope you had fun as well. If you did, I'd appreciate a thumbs up. And as always, everyone, happy hunting. And thanks for watching. We'll go and add this to the dimes found for 2018. One more to complete a roll.